And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2016 Japan K1 Super Featherweight World Tournament at Yoyogi National Gymnasium in the second gymnasium. We've got 4,800 screaming fans ready for this next bout to kick off. In the red corner, Kuya Urabe taking on in the blue, Karim Benui. I'm Brian. And I'm Phil. And let's see what happens in the ring tonight. Let's write some more quarterfinal action here. Actually, a rematch. Urabe has gone all the way to France to fight Benui previously and lost over there. Mm. So he's looking to get some sweet revenge in the tournament. Yeah, in the home turf. Home field advantage. We'll see how that plays out. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, both fighters will get back to business where they left off yeah. in the last fight. They probably don't need much feeling out time in this first round, as like uh, we usually see. Yeah, uh, Benui, no, no pushover at all. 13 of his 35 wins, wins coming by way of mm. KO. Mm. Ooh, some nice low kicks uh, from the southpaw. Well, both guys southpaw here. Um, blue. Ooh, switching it up though. Really similar, similar stats here. Close in age, close in height. What, what happens? Ooh, not even trying to touch, touch up. Wanted to get this second win over Yabe. That's right. Looks like the fighter in the blue here content to switch his stance. He's going um, from orthodox to southpaw. Mm. So Yabe's going to have to be careful. Um, he'll have low kicks coming from all sorts of different yeah. angles. Urabe just trying to march him down yeah, and yeah. Him in the corner, not afraid to, to, to exchange at all. Mm -hmm. And Kareem definitely, definitely uh, working the ring, mm. keeping out of, um, keeping out of uh, harm's way, maybe trying to wait for Urabe to make a mistake. Yeah, the one thing uh, Urabe is doing right now is he's just following him rather than cutting the ring off. Yeah. Him. Cut the ring off just a little bit more, he can anyway reach there. That was a good little opportunity yeah. for him there. He looks real sharp, man. Oh yeah, he wants his revenge. Ooh, nice combo there. Is and you know, uh, as a as a pro fighter, you don't you don't see lots of guys just attack the guard. But it mm. seems like that is really useful. Yeah. Right? Well, yeah, I mean, you, you have to, to some degree, um, throw, even with the guard there, to create an opening. Yeah. So, you know, when I'm, when I'm training people or when I'm in my own training, um, it is definitely beneficial to attack the guard, especially with kicks, mm -hmm. to damage the arms. Yeah. But yeah, you got to throw at the guard to, to find the hole. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to create the hole. So, yeah, if someone's high guard just dissuades you from punching at all, um, yeah, you're not you're not gonna have uh, very effective fight strategy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you see here, uh, Rabe is not afraid to attack that guard. Yeah, he really found it. He found that left right down the middle. Yeah, man, he's looking strong. Yeah. Everybody wants that clean shot, but you have to work for it. I mean, that's that's mm -hmm. a lot of you know. <laughs> it's hard to, to to learn that. You know, it's a learned. Uh, yep. One thing you have to you have to create the opening. You're not gonna get a clean hit. Exactly. Four or five shots might land on the gun yeah. before that. You know, and that's why you gotta throw the combination. Mm -hmm. so you gotta you gotta create the hole and then take advantage of it as well. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Great great movement, but all that movement. They rack up those points, yeah, man. Exactly. It gives away the round, you know. So then we're gonna have to. Um, revisit the drawing board here with his corner and um, come up with a bit uh, more offense in his game plan. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, good right hand to the yeah. body there. Yeah, just, wow, just, just picking, him, picking him apart, man. Ooh, nice. It's really, really, yeah, really good um, exchange there for Udabe. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Kareem threw the kick and he threw the punch as soon as, they, as, soon as he saw him go for that low kick. Came across with the, uh, with the punch and then just, just follow through. Yeah, you're you're absolutely right. Well, and, and it's starting to match off nice with some low kicks, kind of abandoning mm -hmm. that plan mm -hmm. partway through. 
Um, I'd like to see him go back to back to those little kicks. Yeah. He shouldn't just punch it to Robbie. That's Robbie's strength. Mm -hmm. and he's looking like he's really feeling good about his punching yeah. game. Yeah. So you should chop those legs. Go for, yep, go for the legs, man. Ooh. 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 And that's part of the benefit of switching your stances is you load. The, the lead leg comes, and the lead leg kick, the heavy kick, comes from both sides, so mm. he can just walk through on those kicks if he keeps the guard up nice and tight. Mm. He needs to, to do something. He's just, he's just becoming a mm. punching bag for Ronaldo. Yeah, and that's the downside of the high, tight guard at long range um, is yeah, you just create surfaces to get hit on. So sometimes it's, it's nice, like at the longer range, to mm -hmm. keep the lead hand out, stick mm. it in your opponent's face, and block the yeah, 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 yeah. If you just keep your guard tight as you move, yeah, you're kind of um, inviting, inviting hits. You know, the the tactic would be to eat a few punches on the guard and then come and back. And then come at it. Yeah, kick. yeah. There you go. That's what it seems. It seems uh, the news. Doing right now, yeah. but um, Rabbi is just using everything in his uh, his tool belt. Yeah. He seems just to want to do this um, kind of uh, body shots. Not much, not much output. He's looking for the KO, or I don't know what, what exactly he has. In, yeah, he just wants to, wants to go low and maybe drop Rabbi's guard, but I think Rabbi is. He's deciding about what he wants to do. Yeah, well, Urabe just um, looking real strong and real confident. And speaking of astrology, maybe he read his horoscope <laughs> having breakfast this morning and it said, have confidence in your victory. Because yeah. he just looks, he doesn't look like a guy who has lost to the exactly. before. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're right, he's getting out of the way clean. He's filling in gaps when he needs to. He's working the guard and then using knees and kicks. He just can't find, he can't find his rhythm. Yeah. Ooh, ooh nice front kick. Ooh, you don't, ooh, you don't see that every day. Close range too, man. I wasn't, you know, it was a. <laughs> yeah, that was a great shot, man. He found, he threaded the needle. Yeah. Now it looks like he's getting a little frustrated too, and he needs to be careful with that because if he's lunging and stepping and throwing big moving shots, he's creating. He's gonna um, get put out there, man. Yeah, opportunities get countered exactly. Mm. Ooh, nice, nice mid there. And yeah, these fighters in Japan are so good with those short knees mm -hmm. without clinching up. Uh, the K1 style. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> My goodness, man. I was in the zone, man. He looks great right now. I mean, you know, doing doing what he can, but he just seems, yeah, like I said, he can't find his rhythm. Um, maybe, maybe Urabe is fighting completely different than when he when he did and when he uh, he challenged Kareem in France. Well, that's true. I'm not sure how long ago it was, too. So you know, Urabe could be a completely different fighter. He's standing so bladed there. You would think. Um, so the big lows. Yeah, but then we could drop the low kick there and not really have to worry about the defense. But Urabe just mixing it up enough. Making it real tough here for the fighter in the blue. Lots of output. I, I would say Rabe has probably thrown double the amount of strikes yeah. that uh, Kareem has. Oh, for sure, at least. Yeah, he is super busy in this fight. He's not looking up to it. It's a bit, a bit uh, weathered. Single yeah. the, single the. Ooh, there's so many things that happen um, you know, leading up to the fight. Could be a bad weight cut. Mm -hmm. Could be getting a little sick before the match. You never know, but yeah. he's... He's having, whatever it is, he's having trouble yeah. finding that rhythm, man. And Urabe is not having that sort of trouble at all. Mm. Well, this is a tournament fight, too, so Urabe, you know, has to, has to sort of weigh the pros and cons of trying to land a big KO, true, yeah. putting himself in harm's way, or kind of coasting a little bit, fighting on the outside, yeah. not eating a lot of damage. Yeah, it's true. After watching this fight, I forgot it was a tournament, man, because Urabe is just, he's, you know, he's just taking this, he's taking this all out. Maybe he really yeah. just wants this win, man. Maybe he, uh, he's yeah. more concerned right now about, about getting revenge. 
Well, you're right, he's been, he's been super busy. And that's the thing with the tournament, you know, is numero uno, you've got to win the fight. Mm -hmm. So no matter what, you have to win the fight. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you try to not expend energy, if you try to, you know, sometimes you can shoot yourself in the foot. So he's, he's done exactly the right thing. Um, taking it one fight at a time, yeah. just getting the victory here and looking great while he's doing it. A minute, minute 50 left in this third round. Um, and this is the, uh, the final. Um, you know, the winner of this fight will have definitely one more and possibly two more yeah. fights going forward. Yeah, the reward for victory is a tougher opponent <laughs> in the next round. Mm. Oh, just still uh, finding his rhythm and I can just saying yeah, sitting there eating shots in the, in the ring. And sometimes, you know, when you're in Benui's position as a fighter, you think, no matter what I do, I just can't, can't get it. Can't achieve the zone, man. I can't mm -hmm. get myself um, out of that, you know, where you, there's a there's a fine line where you're thinking about it too much mm -hmm. and then where you've moved into sort of that zone space and then you're you're thinking a little but things are flowing and happening and it sucks to be right on the edge. It's yeah. real tough, you know. You could I can feel that I can understand the frustration. Yeah, the, 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 Sometimes you feel like, oh I'm starting to find my rhythm, boom, and then you need a shot yeah. too. It looks like he's found some some kind of a rhythm right now, but it might be too little too late here in the third round with thirty seconds left here. Yeah. Yeah, something big, big has to happen for yeah. the fighter in the blue here. There we go. It seems like he's found what he what he wanted because it's maybe Rabe is getting a little bit a little bit uh, tired. Maybe Rabe knows he's got this win. Yeah, just keep the guard up, move forward a little bit, put Benui on his back foot, and uh, he's just got to win this match and get on to the next round. There we have it. Kind of, kind of just a shutout. Yeah, yeah. Almost. Um, you know, sometimes you, you wonder what's worse, like to lose by a KO, or you can say, "Yeah, that was a that unlucky, was just a right? lucky yeah, punch," yeah. you know. Or you know, sometimes it's worse to, to lose where it's like, "Man, I just couldn't do anything." Yeah, 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 yeah. Completely boxed out. Mm -hmm. So I mean, the thing is, too, he's a great fighter, mm -hmm. you know, but it just goes to show that you know, Abe is right now in the same Japanese Choshi guy. Yeah, Choshi, yeah. He <laughs> is just. In a good space, yeah, man. Yeah. He's feeling good. Yeah, kept it simple. And, you know, like you said, just, um, you know, just canceled out everything for him. And try to do, you know, he, didn't, you know, he didn't do much mm -hmm. because yep. of how Urabe approached yeah. that fight, you know. It has a great fight. Well, now he goes back to the locker room. <laughs> Rest up and uh, yeah. put some ice on it and get ready to rock and roll. It looks like he didn't get too much damage. He got, ate some low blows. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, there you have it. The K1 World Grand Prix 2016 Japan K1 Super Featherweight World Tournament at Yogi National Gymnasium, Second Gymnasium. See you next time.